Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans, and today I am planning in my big memory planner from June 17th to the 23rd. I have a full week of a ton of pictures, um, so we got to get them all laid down. I'm going to go in with my tape runner and just start laying down all of my pictures to get them out of the way and in a designated spot because otherwise I will forget where they went. Um, yeah, because somehow we just took a lot of pictures, which isn't a bad thing at all. It just means I'm not going to have a ton of room to decorate. So I think we're going to do kind of minimal decorating. I'm going to start with this really pretty glitter washi tape. I actually found it. I thought I thought I was out of a lot of these colors, um, but it turns out Nay had like put them in like a little cup in my office and that cup gets put up higher and it only comes down when she's in here. And I don't think I looked in it the last time I put it away. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, there's all of my washi tape that had like gone missing. So I was like, that's good to know. <laughs> I thought I thought I had more glitter washi tape than I had. And then I've been using for the last couple weeks and it just turns out my kid put them where they don't belong. So that's fun. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going in and I'm just going to start laying down. We went to Bucky's for the first time. I hope that's how you say it. I'm assuming that's how you say it. I don't know. But we went um, because we did a quick trip over the weekend to Wyoming to visit my grandma because she um, isn't doing so well so we wanted to just like go check on her and we haven't been out there in a hot minute and so it was just a quick trip um because my husband had to be back by Sunday because he serves on the worship team at our church um so and then he had rehearsal on Thursday evening so like we couldn't really leave any earlier so we kind of just got there when we could but I'm really glad that we got a chance to go even if it was a really quick trip but on the way home um we stopped at Bucky's and Boy, that was an experience. And let me tell you, I don't think I'll ever experience that again. <laughs> the overstimulation I experienced while there was just beyond not like I was not expecting it at all. Um, and yeah, I just it's not for me. And I'm and I'm OK with that. <laughs> I think I learned that very quickly um, from being there. I was like, no, I am good. This is not my life. I just like got so overstimulated. Um, it was just so much happening. It was just chaotic um, and so busy. Granted, we had just spent, you know, a couple hours in silence in the car. So <laughs> I'm like, maybe that had something to do with it. But yeah, I, I was not, I was definitely not vibing with the amount of people that are in there. Granted, I think it's the only one in Colorado. So it's just like super, super busy. I'm sure in other areas, maybe it's not that busy, um, you know, where it's actually from, I think in Texas, but here it was crazy and I'm okay to never go again. So <laughs> I'm like, that was a one-time experience and I'm not going to hate if we never experience that again. Um, obviously, like it's not in an area where we drive past very often really the only time we go that far is we're going to Wyoming so um you know maybe on our next trip we'll stop there I did get some like glazed uh pecans pecans however you want to say it um and they were actually really really good and I'm kind of kicking myself for not getting um more because I love them they're delicious and I was like I guess I'll be going back just for that but you know who knows all right I'm just filling in some gaps here because some of my pictures are a little bit too short for the spots which is okay so this side just got lots of extra little um little snippets I'm gonna go in with the rest I have these I use them for a patron spread these I found on Etsy um they're just printable stickers and then I put them on my Cricut and then just printed them out. I have some leftovers from when I did a patron spread, but I don't have a ton of room to decorate. So I thought these would kind of be fun to just add in some color. And then I can go in with my new sticker book. This book releases today. Um, it's new slash an oldie, um, but it's revamped because the colors in it aren't the original colors, at least not all of them. Um, but it's my new rainbow foiled sticker book. Um, you guys, there's a true orange in here like I'm just so excited but I'm going to use these today um for 
my journaling boxes and then also for just like some other you know boxes to stick in here so I think it'll be fun to like just make this kind of like a rainbow spread um and we're gonna go in this with this foil already it's a pain in the butt to take pictures because of this because of the pictures so like let's just make it even harder by adding some foil but I think it'll be okay <laughs> I'm up for the challenge but look at this orange it's like a true orange. It's like pumpkin-y orange, you guys. I'm so excited. The original version did not have this shade. Um, again, this book releases today at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. So an hour after this video has been posted, basically, is when this book releases. Um, but I am so excited to finally have colors that, like, I, like, I just think they just look so much better than the original. I have nothing against the original colors. It's just they weren't... They weren't what I was thinking, and I picked them over pictures that my manufacturer was sending them to me, um, which just made it, you know, really hard to actually see the true colors. So, um, but now I have my own foil book that they sent me, so now I can pick out the colors myself. But we have a really, like, bright, vibrant yellow now, which, again, the original did not. We have a lime green. Um, so, we just have more options um, for those rainbow colors, which I'm really, really excited about. Now, if you are liking the old rainbow, uh, foil, the big version that is still currently in stock does still have the original foil colors. Um, but once that book is completely gone, like I won't be able to get those foil colors again, because I did have to redo this book because my manufacturer no longer carried some of the colors um, that I originally picked because I released that book like two years ago. So um, they just did not have those colors anymore. So regardless, I had to make some changes. But I feel like they're changes for the better because these colors are so stinking pretty. I'm actually going to use both the blues. Why not? Yo, little. I'm doing like a mix of the journaling stickers and the um, and the smaller stickers. So I don't have a ton to journal about, but I can do like little blurbs with all the other colors. So I'm just adding in my boxes. Look at this bright, gorgeous purple. I'm actually going to do the smaller one. Some of these I have, like, the content that I can write in there <laughs> to do multiple shades if I really want. I don't have to. Like, I don't think I'm going to use the dark red just because it's a little on the dark side. So I'm going to stick with that bright red. Okay, so functional in... Also, look at the hollow on here. Ugh, so pretty. Okay, so let's go in with these. I, I'm, I don't think... I, I don't know if I'm going to keep them to their colors. I don't think I have enough of each color, but I guess we'll find out. I might have to do some trimming as well to kind of make some things fit in some areas. So we'll kind of just have to see how this goes. But I'm going to fit as much as I can in whatever of these that I can in the areas. Again, I might have to trim some of these because like I did not size these for anything specific, so <laughs> some of these might be a little obnoxious. I think I'm actually going to trim this so it cuts off at the line. So I'm just making sure I'm not pushing that sticker down all the way, otherwise it's going to make it really hard to peel up later. And then I'm just going to go in and just trim off some of that so that way it's there but it's not like taking over. Not taking over the page. I think I do have at least one of each color, which is good. I think I'm gonna have to do green and blue in the same, in the same space because I took up all the blue area because I wanted to use more boxes. The boxes are just so pretty. Just wanted to use all of them. I'm trying to get these little snippets off. Okay, I have two shades of blue too. I think I'm gonna go with the lighter blue. 
just like how this one looks. I did link these um, stickers. They're from Etsy. I did link them in the original video, um, the patron spread video that I did. Um, and if I remember, I will try to tag them or at least link them in this video as well, if I remember. But I feel like by the time I edit and upload things, sometimes I don't. I don't always remember. <laughs> so. Ooh, I actually really like how that looks. I really like that. Okay. I don't, I guess this one's like the purple one that I have. It's like not as purpley as I'd want it to be, but it's still pretty purple. I do want to leave, I'm going to do some, uh, I was going to say, yeah, quotes. That's what I'm going for. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> I am going to put in a couple of quotes in here. Um, okay, just kind of trimming some of my areas, and then I do have a pink, but I don't really have a spot for the pink, but I think I'm going to put it in anyway. I might just put it over here in this purple spot, and maybe we just do a little bit of it. Like, I'm not going to do this whole sticker. I think I'm actually going to cut it off at the box. Was not a straight line. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. I think that's good. That looks pretty fun to me. I do have a small version of this rainbow one, which I'm like, I feel like I have to have the rainbow ones somewhere in here. So I am going to add the rainbow. For the most part, we kept, you know, to the color. I think we're just changing it up a little bit. Okay, I am going to add in some little quotes. Um, just some little. <laughs> just some little real quotes. I had Nay with me on Tuesday for a while in my office, and it was great. But she just likes to take out literally every single thing. Um, so that was fun. <laughs> I was like trying to get something done and, you know, we had to multitask that day and it didn't go quite as planned, but it's fine. <laughs> I don't have like, I didn't leave a ton of room for quotes. So kind of looking for just like the smaller quotes. I feel like this is a really good quote um, for just the situation. It's one of those things where growing up sucks. <laughs> it's just not the vibe. So I'm just going to mix in some of the quotes. in here. Of course, I don't have a ton of room for quotes, so it's okay if I don't add a lot. I switched to 2.0. We had auditions for our company on Sunday. <laughs> I was like, what day is that? <laughs> and it was actually really good. Okay. I think that's good. I don't have a ton of room, um, but at least I have lots of space so I can write in all the details and if I end up not needing to use one of these for a detail I could always put another quote in there but I think that is it for my memory planner just really really simple this week um, with some Etsy stickers uh, like principal stickers and then a couple quotes and my new rainbow boxes which I'm just ecstatic about and I absolutely love these colors so much more um, but there we go you guys make sure to check out my Instagram to see what this looks like all filled in and complete I so hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!